Hi friends, uh, welcome to class 2 network analysis. In the previous class, we discussed about the basic concepts of uh, network analysis. And now uh, we will see uh, the numericals, uh, how we can calculate uh, uh, the earliest times, latest times, uh, the float and critical problem from uh, the network analysis. So we'll take the first uh, example. So here, consider the following network diagram and determine the following. Earliest, latest times, comma, float the second one critical path and its duration so in the first problem the network is given and subsequently we'll take uh, the problems uh, where uh, the network is not given instead of network it will be given in the form of tables and you need to convert the table into network diagram but uh, to begin with uh, we have taken directly a network diagram to solve uh, the earliest uh, to find out the earliest latest times float as well as to identify the critical path and its duration see coming to this uh, network diagram so whatever num uh, circle with uh, numbers which is represented here one two three four all these things it is called as a events and which uh, the events which are connected by a line with a arrow mark it is called as an activity and from one event to the other event uh, the activity is connected and that activity value it is given that is two. So this is nothing but the duration to complete uh, an activity from one to two and to complete from uh, two to six it requires uh, the activity or the duration time for like that the duration time for all the activities uh, it is given here taking these uh, with the help of uh, these uh, durations or the activity durations we need to calculate the earliest time, latest time, float and critical path. We'll see, uh, we have taken uh, the network diagram. So here, as we uh, discussed, uh, the earliest times will be calculated in the forward pass uh, computation in this direction. And the latest uh, times uh, will be calculated in the backward pass computation in this direction. So here, uh, for each node or the element whatever it is given uh, you need to identify what is the earliest time as well as the latest time so similarly when you take for the second event even for this event you need to calculate what is the earliest as well as the latest third event or the third node earliest as well as latest like that you need to calculate all the earliest and latest events uh, late, uh, latest timings for all the events or the nodes whatever it is given so because of that first you write uh, whatever numbers it is given with respect to that number you can write e1 l1 e2 l2 e3 l3 so on till uh, whatever network it is there uh, till that last point finish point you can write e9 uh, l9 like that so now we'll see how to determine these uh, earliest uh, times here so normally the earliest time uh, to start with uh, the first event or the first activity the it will be taken as uh, zero okay normally we will take it as uh, zero so uh, we will calculate uh, the earliest times by using uh, this formula that is uh, earliest finish time of the job from i to j activity is equal to ei plus dij this ei is nothing but the earliest time of the previous uh, event plus uh, the duration of that uh, respective uh, job or event so in the beginning uh, to start with uh, the project we are taking we are considering uh, the project will be starting from 0th day or 0th hour or 0th week like that from 0. Now to calculate uh, the earliest time for the activity 1 to 2 by using this formula, what you can do, you can just write uh, the formula that is from 1 to 2, what is the earliest time of uh, EI means EI means uh, E1 and DIJ, IJ means I means 1, J means 2. So from 1 to 2, what is the duration uh, of the project it is given here it is given 2 and what is the earliest time of the project it is given uh, we have uh, started it is 0 so now substitute e1 is equal to 0 plus d12 is equal to d1 to 2 is nothing but that is 2 so when you substitute 0 plus 2 you get the earliest finish time of the first uh, activity or the first 1 to 2 activity will be 2 so now write that 2 into the earliest time here okay similarly when you take when you consider for uh, 1 to 3 uh, same way you can calculate 0 plus 2 you will get 2 here similarly you can calculate for uh, 1 to 4 activity 
zero is the earliest time one is the duration zero plus one it will be four uh, one here so similarly now you take uh, two to six so two plus four it is six again here then we'll take it uh, between three and seven so here we have two and here we have five that is earliest time plus uh, the duration so earliest time is two here and the duration is five so two plus five it is seven so similarly now when it comes to here uh, see it's not single activity till here whatever activities we have uh, uh, calculated it is uh, connected with only one activity but when it comes to fifth uh, node or the fifth event there are two activities which are merging here this is a merge activity or merge events so here you have three to five as well as four to five you have so when you have this one you need to calculate by using uh, one more formula called as e suffix j is equal to maximum of uh, the earliest finish times for all ij for all ij means whatever number of activities which is uh, which are merging to the same node so for all that activities you need to calculate and out of that you need to select the maximum value but here we have only 3 to 5 and 4 to 5 okay hmm? but we have only 2 here so what you can do oh, you can calculate uh, the earliest times for uh, that one uh, by substituting the formula like this so you can write e5 is equal to maximum of e3 plus d3 to 5 so that is the duration from 3 to 5 activity similarly e4 uh, whatever uh, value earliest time plus the duration between 4 to 5 activity please substitute the values so what you get 2 plus 8 2 plus 8 is equal to 10 then 1 plus 3 you get 4 so out of these two values which one you have to consider as per the formula you have to consider the maximum value so that is the earliest finish as uh, late possible that much uh, the finishing time the earliest finishing time so here 10 is the uh, uh, maximum value in the uh, two activities which is merging to the event 5 here so now you can write the 10 into the fifth event similarly when you take uh, 6 to 8 and 7 to 8 so again here there are two activities which are merging and here when you take 5 to 9 it is only one uh, activity which is merging so here what you can do 6 plus 1 it becomes 7 7 plus 4 it becomes 11 7 is greater or uh, 11 is greater so the maximum value is 7 plus 4 11 so you take 11 for the eighth event so similarly now uh, uh, again here for the ninth event there are two activities which is merging one is 8 to 9 and the other one is 5 to 9 when you take 5 to 9 it is 10 plus 5 15 and when you take uh, from 8 to 9 it is 11 plus 3 14 so which is maximum uh, 15 is the maximum take or consider only the maximum value in the earliest times so similarly uh, now we have finished uh, calculating the earliest uh, times similarly you can calculate the latest times in the backward pass direction so when you are cal uh, calculating uh, the latest times in the backward pass com uh, computation here the latest time for the uh, finish point again it will be considered as a same value that is 15 for the last event so now subtract uh, like similar to the earliest time you have the latest time uh, latest uh, start time of the project which is given by lfij minus dij that is the latest finish time is 15 here minus the duration of uh, i to j that is 8 to 9 the duration of the time is 3 so when you sub, uh, subtract that one so when you take 8 to 9 this is the formula what we are writing and substitute the values 15 minus 3 you get 12 to the l8 that is the latest uh, time for that event 8 so similarly you can calculate for uh, 6 so here 12 minus 1 it will be 11 so similarly 12 minus 4 here it will be 8 so see here there is a difference what you are getting from earliest to latest times because of you are taking maximum value in the uh, forward direction and when you are calculating in the backward direction you are taking the uh, least value so now coming to the uh, fifth uh, event so 15 minus 5 again 10 you will get see uh, similarly you can calculate from uh, 6 to 2 so 11 minus 4 you get 7 and again here uh, 8 
minus 5 so oh, again here there are two activities which are uh, emerging from this event okay three events there are uh, two emerging events here so when you have two or two activities sorry two activities which is coming from three so you need to take uh, the minimum value so again you need to use one more formula called li is equal to minimum of uh, latest start times of all ij that means whatever number of activities which is uh, emerging from this one so for all that uh, activities you need to calculate and whatever minimum value you get uh, that minimum value you need to consider so here i am calculating for the l3 minimum of that so l5 minus d35 that means uh, l5 is this one 10 minus 8 oh, 3 to 5 the duration is 8 so similarly when you take uh, l7 it is 8 and duration of the activity is 5 so subtract that one you will get uh, these values 10 minus 8 to 8 minus 5 3 so in these two values you need to consider uh, the lowest value that is a minimum value out of these two so when you consider minimum value here you will get 2 for the l3 so once you get 2 for this one uh, you have oh, L2 you have calculated, L3 you have calculated, L4 you can calculate here, L4 10 minus 3, you get 7. So now again here when you take the first event, uh, you have 3 activities which is emerging here. So when you take 7 minus 2, it will be 5, 2 minus 2 0, 7 minus 1 6, which is minimum out of these 3. So here uh, 2 minus 2 will be uh, the minimum value. So here it becomes 0. So now after calculating all the earliest times as well as the latest times that is earliest start time earliest finish time and latest start and latest finish times for all the activities and the events here. So now you can able to calculate uh, the critical path by looking at the, the slack uh, values. So when you take the slack values here, uh, I'll just show you. Uh, see here when you take the first activity, uh, first event. So the slack time when you take the difference between the earliest time and the latest time it is zero so like that wherever you have uh, the earliest times and uh, latest times uh, you just uh, see here e1 and uh, for third event again you have uh, two and two you'll get zero and for fifth event 10 and 10 you get zero and for ninth event you have 15 and 15 again you get zero so connect all these uh, uh, activities which are uh, following uh, the event slack as zero or uh, that you, you can call it as a critical path so here 1 2 3 3 to 5 and 5 to 9 so this is the critical path for this network diagram in the uh, problem whatever it is given so the critical path is 1 to 3 3 to 5 5 to 9 what is the duration of uh, the completion of the uh, this project so this project will be completed in 15 days and here as i told this is the critical activity one two three and the entire route when you take this entire route it is called as a critical path and whatever events it is following uh, uh, along the critical path are called as the critical events okay uh, we have calculated uh, the critical path and we have identified all the earliest and latest times uh, in the network diagram now taking uh, with the same uh, network diagram we will uh, convert all these uh, values uh, into a tabular form okay so this is a table uh, where you can uh, write all the uh, earliest times latest times and fourth values as well as the activities uh, in this table so to start with how we need to write these uh, activities here uh, normal time and see earliest times you have two earliest start as well as earliest finish and when it comes to latest you have again two values latest start time as well as latest finish and the float value so how you got all these uh, the activity uh, values here or activities here so how to write from uh, the network diagram we'll see now uh, look at the uh, diagram here you have activity starting from one to two so always when you are writing here uh, it should start with uh, the first activity or the first node you start always and go with the increasing order now from one you have one to two activity i have written that and again from one to three you have an activity you have written it and from one to four we have an activity we have done and now with one all the activities uh, it is completed now what you can do you can go to the next higher value that is two 
from 2 to oh, how many uh, 6 you have only one activity there is no other activity which is emerging from 2 we can write 2 to 6 1 and after that coming to the 3 you have two activities here 3 to 5 and 3 to 7 write down 3 to 5 as well as 3 to 7 like that you can write it for 4 to 5 you have 5 to 9 you have then 6 to 8 7 to 8 6 to 8 7 to 8 and 8 to 9 so after writing all the activities then immediately after that you have a normal time what is this called as a duration of the activity so when you take 1 to 2 activity what was the duration it was given 2 so that 2 you write it here so similarly for 1 to 3 again it is 2 uh, when you take 3 to 7 what is the activity duration here so it is 5 3 to 7 where it is here it is 5 so like that write down all the duration times for the activities whatever you are noted then uh, to start with uh, the earliest start times so here for uh, each activity when you take 1 to 2 so here the example is given 1 to 2 so for 1 to 2 what is the earliest start time so 1 to 2 there are two earliest uh, e values it is there e1 and e2 so e1 will give you the earliest start time e2 it will give you earliest finish time write down e1 is 0 here e1 is 0 1 you take 1 to 2 again when you take between 1 to 3 activity what is e1 again 0 again when you take 1 to 4 what is e1 it is 0 now go to 2 to 6 event 2 to 6 so when you take between uh, the activity 2 to 6 what is earliest time here it is 2 and finish time is 6 now you write only uh, start time so that start time is 2 so similarly you can write uh, uh, the values 5 to 9 what is 5 to 9 here when you take the earliest time is 10 so write down the 10 similarly you can uh, do it for all the uh, activities the earliest start time after making this all earliest start times now just add uh, uh, what you call the earliest time as well as uh, uh, the duration these two when you add you will get the third column that is earliest finish times so 2 plus 0 2 2 plus 0 1 plus 0 1 4 plus 2 6 8 plus 2 10 uh, uh, like that you get the earliest finish times then come to latest finish not latest start but you need to come to latest finish times here when i take uh, first activity that is 1 to 2 activity so in the activity 1 to 2 what is the latest finish time it is 7 so write 7 here so similarly when you take for 1 to 3 what is the latest time here it is 2 and when you take for 1 to 4 it is 7 write 7 so similarly you can take any other activity i will take 7 to 8 what is the latest finish time latest finish time for 7 to 8 it is 12 so here for 7 to 8 it is 12 so please keep on writing all the activity values for the latest finish times once you get this latest finish times just subtract latest finish time and the normal uh, time l i minus d i j you get uh, the latest start time that is 7 minus 2 you'll get 5 2 minus 2 you get 0 7 minus 1 you get 6 so these are the latest start values of the project and after getting this one then finally the float is very simple where is that latest start minus the earliest time if you do if you subtract the latest start time and the earliest start time uh, you get the float values and coming to the float values you please uh, keenly observe here in the float values you have 0 0 and 0 so what is uh, these uh, what uh, these zeros indicates means so uh, what is a, a zero activity this is 1 2 3 and here 3 to 5 and here it is 5 to 9 what are these three activities all these three activities are falling in the critical path here am i correct all these uh, three activities which are falling in the critical path so the float value where you get zero so all that uh, activities uh, will be falling under the critical path that is one two th uh, one three five nine so the total duration of the project is 15 so thank you for watching the video uh, please uh, if you like the video please like share and subscribe the video thank you very much